Welcome back. Time for the morning buzz. Even more bad news for President Biden to tell you about. The latest Monmouth University poll reveals Vice President Kamala Harris's approval rating is higher than Joe Biden's. She's at 35 percent, slightly higher than President Biden's, which just, of course, hit a new low of 34 percent. This is the lowest in the polls tracking of his administration so far. So the numbers keep going lower. And to compare her, him to Kamala, she's actually higher than he is, Lee. I mean, to be fair, it's within the margin of error. So really, they could be mm. equally unpopular. But maybe there's a reason why okay. Nikki Haley sort of walked away from her uh, her rhetoric where she was saying a vote for Joe Biden is really a, a, a vote for uh, Kamala Harris because they know that she's more popular at this point. But I mean, it's really I mean, just just think about that number. One in three Americans It's only one in three Americans approve of this president and this vice president. That's two in three Americans who disapprove. And what's also staggering is when you look at the numbers of disapproval among his own party, that doesn't usually happen. I mean, you remember when, when Donald Trump was in office, he, he was always above 90 percent approval rating among Republicans, I think 60 percent approval rating among Democrats. This is really, really bad news uh, for both of them. Yeah, and, and to see that it's the Democrats who are uncomfortable with him in the lead, do you see an alternative? Are they going to swap him out with somebody else? And how are they going to convince Kamala Harris to step aside? I think it's really, really just, I mean, it's, it, I, I don't know how they do it at this point. With, um, with all of the rules on when you have to be on the ballot, et cetera, I think it would be a big issue, um, unless they were going to do something at the convention or, or he were to step aside. But I don't know how he steps aside and not have it be Kamala Harris without there being some kind of a, a major, uh, major sort of, pushback from from the party because she is the first female she's first she would be the first female she'd be the first black American right. and so there's all kinds of issues that uh, they would have to address because what are they going to do put Gavin Newsom in there I think it would that would cause a whole lot of problems unless they somehow brokered a deal with her to say that you're going to walk away but you're going to get XYZ as a result of it but look yeah. I mean that party does have the Democratic Party does have an immense amount of discipline if you think about what happened in that primary in 2020 it was you know Joe Biden was losing losing yeah. losing gets a South Carolina wins and all of a sudden everybody resigns um, and, and and backs behind him so yeah stranger things have happened uh, yeah, we're going to be watching that. What a year it will be.